What is going on, everybody? Before we jump into the gameplay, we just have a hilarious exchange of messages. I'll show some of it for you guys. We streamed this past Friday for like four hours, and we ran into this kid that ended up quitting his Super Bowl. Um, he was one of those kids that would come out in like five wide and expect to pick up a blitz. It was just ridiculous. And we just started going back and forth, back and forth. Uh, he's like, you nano bum, and I hope you kill yourself and all this stuff. And it just got so hilarious. I was like, I got to post this on YouTube. I was like, come check it out. It'll be... <laughs> I'll put this up next week. He's like, yeah, you're just another one of those fake uh, dick writers that makes a gamer tag that's similar to whoever you watch on YouTube. I know that's not your real YouTube channel. I was like, uh, it's in the link in my Twitch description. He's like, no, that's not you. It's different from your gamer tag, which is different from your Twitch name, which is different from your YouTube name. And it was just hilarious. I had to go ahead and post that for you guys. And then we're kind of going to talk over this gameplay about all the new... Um, Road to the playoff content that came out. As you see, the opponent we get matched up with. Got the 95 Neil, the 94 Fitz, the 94 Barber. Definitely, again, one of those top three you see, and it scares the shit out of me. I'm like, oh, man. Who who go, who go purchases a 95 overall fullback and doesn't and isn't like raw as shit? But we'll jump, in, we'll jump back into the game later. Uh, Road to the playoff content came out today. All the new cards, and then all the new MVP and master sets that came out today. My advice is... Don't pull the trigger on any any of the Elite Road to the Playoff cards or any of the MVP uh, cards that came out because they're never going to be as expensive as they are today. They will be. They're never going to be that expensive. Um, give it a week. I would say wait till this weekend. Let everybody come purchase the bundles. Let the market get flooded. They're going to drop a big promo bundle this weekend like they always do. Um, and if you're interested in any of those Road to the Playoff cards or any of those new MVP cards that they put out, just wait. The prices will drop. Um, I was looking at some of the cards. I'm not really impressed with some of the cards. I can't remember what the Road to the Playoff cards looked like last year, if they were impressive, if there were any that stood out, if there were any new MVP cards that stood out. I think a couple of the MVP cards that came out the second time around were pretty decent last year. Um, the only cards that I can really, really remember that stood out to me, because I just looked at the cards like... An hour or two ago, <clears throat> the only cards that really stood out to me were the new Elite Shazier that, that they put out. Um, a lot of his like um, a lot of his stats that aren't very high up on his um, gold card are a lot better. And I think he's two speed faster, so he's a 93 something linebacker. Um, the Freeman running back that they dropped for the Falcons, um, he looks pretty nice. He's got very good trucking and elusiveness mixed with speed. He looks pretty good. The Josh Norman um, for the Panthers isn't bad either, but he was going for like 400K. I wouldn't even dream of pulling that much. Again, like I said, guys, let the market correct itself. The cards are going to be so expensive because they're just now getting put up. There's not a lot of them. Wait till this weekend. Again, let the bundles flood out. Let everybody do all that. And then if you want any of those cards, you can go ahead and um, get them. I can't really remember any other cards that stood out. Um, they gave peppers like 79 speed a cut a lot of the mvp cards were just so random they gave andrew luck the colts mvp when he's played like shit um but i guess it sells packs uh some of them had linemen i know my um i think my patriots had a lineman but patrick chung got the mvp card i mean patrick chung got the road to the playoff card just a bunch of other random cards that I really didn't see any interest in, but like I was telling you guys, if anything, it'll just lower the price of the cards that I actually want. So jumping into the gameplay right here, he finally found a cute play that he liked, but then once we shut it down, he called this this play that I just picked off, he called that exact play the first play of the game, he just flipped the formation. I just remember what the formation looked like and uh, hopped on the drag. We pick it off, he ends up quitting out. And then also, if you don't have any intentions of completing these Road to the Playoff or um, the MVP sets, See if you have any cards that go in those sets and sell them. See if you have any of those golds that everyone kept talking about, like hang on to those 70 to 75 overall gold cards. Check to see if you got them in your item binder, then go ahead and sell them. We show you guys that um, we just taken a peek at the McNabb. The speed they gave him is absolutely insane, um, but his throw deep really bothers me. And then I take a look at the Derek Carr. I really want that Derek Carr a lot. Um, I think his throw accuracy short, though, is what bothers me, but... I need to see people play with him more, and it just sucks that his overall is two less lower than Jameis's, but 
it is what it is. Just showing you guys what we're thinking of. I appreciate it, guys. Hit the like button if you enjoy. Subscribe if you have not already. We're going to have a big auction block video coming up here soon. Just waiting for that Thanksgiving promo to drop. Follow the Twitch and the Instagram. Both links are in the description. We've usually been streaming on Friday so far, um, and we might keep that up. So like, share, favorite, subscribe. Both links in the description. And as always, deuces.